If I now have a look, what happens when I type look at the box, then a few things are currently being detected by my NLU model. It's detecting the intent look, but it's also detecting the entity, namely the box. And this is perfectly fine. It's doing the right thing. Well done there. But you could wonder, for the use case that we're currently building, do we really need a machine learning model like the diet classifier to tell us that this is an entity? I might argue that for this particular use case, it can actually be enough to just say, let's just get a regex or do proper string matching. And we'll use that to detect the entities that we have in this game. Every object in the game is pretty well defined and it's even explicitly listed. So there's something to be said to maybe not use the diet classifier to fetch these entities on our behalf, but instead we can use the regex entity extractor, which is one of the new features that we have in Raza 2.0. So let's add it to our config.yaml file. Let's make this one smaller again, and then we'll go here and we'll scroll back up to our NLU part. Now to add the component to the pipeline, the only thing we have to do is properly name it. And we can give it some parameters. What these extra parameters do is they ensure that if a person were to use capitalization, that that's not an issue. I'm also saying that it's perfectly fine to use an external lookup table for this. And I've also configured it in such a way that if I were to use a proper regex, as opposed to just a string match, that I am able to do so. And because right now I've got an entity extractor defined over here, I can also go ahead and turn off the entity extraction in my diet classifier. Diet will now no longer be preoccupied with detecting entities, which might make the training time slightly faster as well, but that's not the main reason why we've made the change. The reason why I think this is a good change is because in this particular case, our entities are really well defined. And I think we don't need any machine learning to properly detect them. This should just be enough. Now we're not done yet though, because having this regex extractor is one thing, but we still need to define the actual regexes that are going to be performing the string matching. We can define those in our nlu.md file though. The way to just define that is to say, well, here's a lookup for the object entity. And here are the examples that I want you to fit on. And if I'm not mistaken, these are all the entities that I have in the game right now. But if I have more entities or objects that you can interact with, I should make a mental note that I'm going to add them here. With that done, I can run Raza Train once more and we can see if we get different output. So the model is done training now. So I should be able to call Raza Shell NLU one more time. And while that's booting up, let's just make this a little bit bigger. Okay, it's up. So that means that I should be able to type something like look at the window. And if I were to scroll all the way up now, it seems that we get exactly what we want, namely correct intent and the correct entity. And the only difference compared to what we had before is that right now we have a regex entity extractor detecting the entities as opposed to diet picking that up. So that's nice.